It wasn't the homecoming 31-year-old Filipino-American Melissa Rojas wanted. She feared for her life as she returned to the Philippines from the U.S. to testify that under suspicion of being a communist insurgent, the military abducted and tortured her. I got um, not only threatened, but I did get beaten during the first, especially during the first couple of days that I, that I was there. This man was the man where it... Rojas had been working in the country as a human rights advocate for two years when she was allegedly taken in May. I can't keep silent about it. It's, it's, uh, I keep thinking about the other victims of disappearances and the mothers that I've talked to. I, I have to talk because it's, you know, it's a story also about their, their families. But I left right she after says she was released after six US days when they realized she was a U.S. citizen. I Many other victims better. of enforced disappearances yeah. have yet to surface. Like Erlinda Kadapan's daughter a student activist who has been missing since 2006. Along with other victims' relatives, Erlinda says she feels helpless and believes the military, in its campaign against communism, is behind the disappearance. If they can prove my daughter is a, a communist under the communist uh, group, they have no right, If whenever they respect our uh, law, uh, they have no right to uh, torture anybody. According to human rights groups, 207 people are still missing, allegedly abducted by government forces. More than 20 disappearing this year alone. The same groups also blame government troops for the summary executions of suspected leftists. A total of over 1,000 people killed since 2001. Charges the military has denied. We are also as furious as uh, the others. If we can prove that uh, soldiers are involved or uh, policemen are involved, they will get the full force of the law. But proving such involvement has been difficult. In one of the few cases ever brought to trial, the suspect, a military agent, was recently acquitted due to lack of evidence. Seven other cases have also been dismissed. So far, only two face possible court-martial for alleged human rights violations. But they know their rights. And sad to say, some of our soldiers don't know. The army admits the it may have had a face. checkered past, uh, but it insists it has since moved forward. Fighting for the, support of the, people. the military says it's been conducting classes like this one since the early 90s, where every soldier spends 12 weeks in special courses that incorporate lessons in human rights. In section four, it's really difficult to train your soldiers to fight, yet you want them to be compassionate and kind to the enemy. That's a very, that's a paradox or an oxymoron. So, but we had to do it, we had to do it. Little difference it's made so far for people like Melissa, who's now asking the U.S. government to step in. Or for those like Erlinda, who live in hope that somehow their missing loved ones will still surface alive. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.